Okay, first let me thank those who participated in this group exercise. Each participant in this experiment performed a simple test, Eratosthenes style. At the sun's highest point at their location on the September equinox, they placed a shadow casting object and measured its height, then measured the shadow length. With those two measurements, you can get the sun's elevation angle above the horizon from that location. With this information, we can determine the shape of the Earth and the distance of the sun from the Earth's surface. This is an azimuthal equidistant map, the favorite among flat earth believers. The flat earth claim is that the sun is approximately 5,000 kilometers above the surface of the earth. This determination is because when viewing the sun on the equinox, which is directly over the equator, from the 45 degree latitude position, the sun is 45 degrees above the horizon. When you couple that with the distance of the observation point to the equator, you get a rough distance of 5,000 kilometers. So geometry would say that the sun's altitude is 5,000 kilometers. Seems pretty simple. With the results of our 23 participants, let's go ahead and examine that. If the close sun claim over a flat plane Earth were factual, then from any latitude, the shadow tests would all point directly at the sun in close proximity to the Earth's surface, and we can determine what the actual altitude is, if they all match up. Let's first mark the latitudes of all those who perform this test. So now, if the flat earth claim were factual, these gray angles are what we should hope to see from all those who did the test. Let's go ahead and view the measurement results from each test.
As you can see, the elevation angles do not conclude a single point where one could say that the sun is located. Well, except for Joshua. His seemed to hit. So Joshua, if you turn flat earther, I totally sort of understand. <laughs> So now I'll remove this target, and we'll see what this looks like if we apply all these lines to their latitude locations on a globe. As you can see, this concludes that all angles are within less than one degree of perpendicular to the Earth's axis, pointing at a vastly distant sun. And if we took all the stick angles, they all point directly to the center of our big round Earth. The conclusion is pretty apparent. Earth is not a flat plane. The sun is not close, as proved here with repeatable experimentation. I would also like to note a complete lack of participation from flat earthers during this experiment. For those who seem to be seeking the truth, you sure don't want to participate in finding it. Y'all have a nice day. Oh my god!